the Crop Science Center is going to make a huge difference. It amplifies our impact. It puts us, I think, in a very, very strong global position. The Crop Science Centre is an alliance between NIAB and the University of Cambridge. And our ambition is to bring together the deep and excellent plant science in the university with the crop science and crop work that we do at NIAB. It brings hundreds of years of fundamental plant research at the university alongside a hundred years of application in agriculture from NIAB. NIAB is now the largest trials organisation in the UK and every year we bring around 100,000 plots to yield. We do applied research in the field to provide services and products directly for the industry. We work very closely with large and small companies and also with government. I think it's great to see Cambridge University now working directly in partnership with NIAB. The Crop Science Centre has the opportunity to really drive what we call end-to-end -end approaches which ensure that research investments lead to development impacts. It provides us with the capability to move cutting-edge science from the laboratory to the farm. Over the next 30 years, we have some pretty significant challenges. We have an expanding global population that's also changing their diets, putting very significant pressure on our food production systems. That is happening in a time of global climate change, which is going to impact very significantly how and where we can grow our food. And we want to drive greater sustainability in our food production system. We need to produce the food that we need in the ways that are environmentally sustainable, that don't produce large amount of carbon dioxide and other emissions. So we need a lot of scientific and technical innovation in agriculture. We've identified three key areas. The first is in pests and diseases, how we help the plant to use its own defences to ward off insect attacks, fungal attacks. The second area is in the area of nutrition, trying to find ways for the plant to harvest its own nitrogen, its own phosphorus from the soil, from the air, so that we don't need to use these chemical fertilisers. And the third area is photosynthesis. How does it capture the carbon that is the backbone of making its food? I want to ensure that those technological advancements aren't just available to the wealthiest farmers on the planet. I want the legacy to be smallholder farmers in sub-Saharan Africa growing more food, getting more money for their products and being wealthier as a result of that. And I want to see the whole global agriculture being far more sustainable than it currently is. This centre can really make a difference. It sends such a strong signal to the research community, to government, to industry. It's the missing link in the puzzle of product development. It's really focused on delivering real change that will impact food security, opportunities to mitigate climate change and real change in people's livelihoods. For me, the Crop Science Centre is all about fundamental agricultural transformation, improving food production and getting that to everybody. Yeah.